morning guys it's morning where I am I don't know what time it is for you guys but I wanted to do a documentary kind of like a healthy living of you know what I normally do to take care of myself what I eat how I exercise and my you know my fitness regimen I'm just going to give you the basic fundamentals of you know how to just to encourage you guys to take care of yourself train your body but also remember to train your mind and your spiritual as well and your mental that way you get the full clarity that you need in life but normally i've been i've been going down this health path to eat important stuff such as like green leafy vegetables pretty much earth foods foods from the earth is is, is what the body needs that's that's the original foods that was put on this earth for us to survive for us to function properly if you go back i'm talking about like you know biblical times remember in the garden of eden remember adam and eve they were set they were healthy um they didn't even have to eat they were they were pretty much well taken care of it's like it's like the the garden was naturally putting out stuff for them you know you can you can probably even fill it in the oxygen at that time in the air that they was living in they, they were so blessed they didn't even have to eat um and God put natural fruits in that garden for them to eat. And I believe he put vegetables and stuff as well. And and look, ba look back at the tree of life and how, how that brought forth life and, and so forth. So that's that's like an encouragement right there to take care of ourselves, And that should tell us that God put natural foods on the earth for us to eat and for us to be healthy. And you look at in today's society, we got all, the, all this food. You know, especially fast foods like McDonald's, Taco Bell. That used to be one of my favorite restaurants, or fast food places, by the way. Um, but if you look at those places, all that, all that, all that stuff is not really good for you. I was watching a documentary on YouTube, believe it or not. Something, but I, I seen in this documentary they were showing in a video of how McDonald's, their food, you can take a hamburger and, and a thing of fries and you can age that for for years. And and it is still look as it was be when you first aged it. So that, that goes to show you what the what kind of chemicals they put in this food. That is it's not good for our bodies. It's not it's not meant to be in our bodies. Recently I, I, I went out to eat this is like a few a few days ago or so. I went out to eat at a buffet and you know I was I was literally pigging out and my father kinda had to discipline me in that area, correct me in that area. He was telling me I shouldn't have had pigged out like that. Because your your body's not meant to have all that junk food. I was eating like fried uh you know, fried stuff, sweets and all that. And my body literally felt I, I kind of, I kind of like my body was trying to ditch it out, you know what I mean? Because I'm normally a healthy person. I eat healthy all the time, work out all the time, pretty much take care of myself. But the more and more healthy you eat, and then when you go and try to have like a, so like a, a cheat meal or whatever, you know, if you work in the fitness world, they call it cheat meals. If you have like a donut or pizza or something, you'll find out sometimes that your body would try to reject that right away because your body's naturally used to, you know, the natural foods that you eat as such as like green leafy vegetables fruits and so forth so let's go down this path and and, and try to eat right you know what i'm saying and try to eat healthy and eat the right foods that's that's attended for our bodies because if you look at it right now we got all these diseases happening in, to, to, in today's society as such as diabetes cancer high blood pressure and high blood pressure, believe it or not, comes from eating a lot of fried foods, a lot of foods that have grease in them and, and stuff like that. Um, if you eat a lot of sweets, that can aim towards diabetes and stuff like that. A lot of chocolates. And so th those are the kind of foods we want to stay away from. <clears throat> and if you do, do it in moderation. Every now and then, you can have like a, 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 a cheat meal or something like that however you want to call it. I really don't like to say cheat meal, but something that, you know, will satisfy your body at that particular time, but not, you could do it in a way of not overdoing it. Like for me, I, I like to stay organic as much as possible. 
if I do, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll bake like a, a cake, you know, uh, uh, but I'll do like an organic cake or do like organic cookies or something like that, or natural foods. So I, that, that's, that's what I want to encourage you guys right now, to stay natural, put the right foods in your body. That way you can function properly. And did you know just by eating right, your appearance will be more healthier, you'll be able to function throughout the day, your energy levels will go up, you won't be tired, you, you'll be well balanced. That's what eating healthy is all about. This is, this is the benefits of eating healthy on a day-to-day -day basis. It'll help you function properly. Also, it'll be good for your mental and your clarity that you need in life. So, the first thing I like to start out with in the morning, I usually have like a half cup of oats. And I'm, I'm doing like a, a, a sort of an experiment right now. I'm trying to dodge meats. I'm trying to get rid of meats for like a week or a few days or so just to compare to see how my body does with it i want to see how i ha how i can function properly just by eating vegetables um so I i'm gonna throw some healthy carbs in there as well because carbs healthy carbs is very important too you want to use that carbs is basically like fuel for the body and it helps you stay energized throughout the day as well um if you're heading toward the goal of, of losing weight, I would recommend eating carbs earlier in the day. That way your body can burn it off. Because if you eat, if you eat carbs right before bed, some of you agree, might agree with this, some of you may not, but I tend to see, for me, if I eat carbs before I go to bed, I seem like that I'll put on weight. <clears throat> so what I'll do like later in the day before I go to bed, I'll have uh, a thing of vegetables, or I'll throw like a little protein in there, maybe like a healthy snack as such as organic peanut butter or something like that, organic almond oil. Uh, sometimes I'll even add cottage cheese and mix it right up. But um, getting back to what I eat, like to start off my day, I'll have my thing of oats, my stone, old, good old old fashioned oatmeal right here. I would recommend not to get the instant oatmeal because that has like, sometimes they put a lot of sugar and stuff like that. But if you see, if you look in the back of this, if you look at the ingredients, it doesn't have like a whole list of stuff. It's just whole grain rolled oats. That's all it says. No chemicals, it's chemical free, gl um, gluten free and so forth. So that that's real good. Oatmeal is a healthy choice. It's a healthy carb, a healthy carb and it, it'll help you stay energized you know, earlier in that time period that you want to be able to function properly. So I have a, a whole thing of oats. <clears throat> now, I also, if you want to give your oatmeal a little, a little flavor, I used to use honey, but I don't have honey right now. Um, if you use honey, use clover honey, use natural honey. You don't want to get the processed honey because it has, you know, s sugars that that's not meant to be in it. It's man-made, it's in, I, I want to say it's synthetic, but get the clover honey. It's all natural, straight from the straight from the bees, man. These these God put bees on the earth to make honey for for uh, for us humans, like a treat or something like that. Um, and also, there's other other benefits to to using natural honey as well. But I usually just use a thing of raisins. Got my sun made raisins. I'll throw these in my oatmeal, or <clears throat> I got my good old bananas so this morning I'm just going to use one banana for my oatmeal and uh, I usually just slice it right up put it in my oatmeal and I'm good to go so that's what I usually do to flavor my oatmeal so instead of putting sugar in it a healthy a healthier substitute is to use a banana uh, banana is naturally sweet so that gives it flavor as well, also raisins. Another thing I like to use is some good old blueberries. These things are awesome. I posted a thing of uh, blueberries, I think on my Facebook or something like that a few weeks ago and I was stating how blueberries are very healthy for you. It's a, I th when I think of blueberries, I think of it as a brain food. It kind of, it has like antioxidants in it that's good for your mind. Um, I did research on these things. It's it's good to help for 
memory loss, if, if you're suffering from memory loss, eat some blueberries. I guarantee you it will cure, it, it will cure, you, cure you up right real quick. It's good for if you want to stay healthy, um, have that young look. It's good for your you know skin, makes you look refreshed. It also helps you feel refreshed as well. And these are a good, good substitute for adding flavor to certain foods, as such as oatmeal. You can put some in some whole grain cereal or something like that. But getting back to my documentary, this is just an idea and how I'm starting off in this in this video documentary that I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with my oatmeal. And then after this, I'm going to show you a little ex exercise regimen that I do. And you guys stay tuned. This is Rob here. All right, Signing guys. So I'm now. back here in a segment of my documentary video, which is titled Healthy Living. And in this segment of the video, I wanted to show you guys how I incorporate my exercise routine. Now, I'm out here today outside in nature. I want to mind you that there's nothing like working out in nature and just being around that aura of nature that God put on this earth. It helps you clear, clear out your mind. It helps you be full of clarity and so forth. I've been dodging the gym for a little bit just to get away from the gym because considering the fact you're working out around around a lot of people, a lot around a, around a lot of dudes, you know, and just people in general, you know, you got all that testosterone built up and it's good to just clear your mind from that kind of environment. So why not work out in God's green earth? So today I want to show you what kind of exercises I'm going to be doing. This is my regular pull-up routine. Um, I'm going to start out with some, some chest movements. You can work out your chest. I'll do some wide, some, a, a good regimen for wide for your delts. If you want to hit your delts, you want to hit, hit, it, hit it more in a wider range. And also it works out your backs. So that way you get those wings. If you want to fly, then get those wings. Get these in. So follow me along in this video and I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so what I'm basically doing right here, these are chest pull-ups. These help you incorporate if you want to build your chest muscles and develop well-defined chest muscles as well. And notice how I'm not in a swinging motion. I'm trying to do it in a proper form as much as I can, going all the way down, then pulling all the way up. All the way straight down. You want to keep your body at like a right degree angle as well. That way you get that proper form. So we'll get once again those were chest pull-ups. All right, now we are going to do wide pull-ups. Remember what I mentioned earlier. If you want those wings, if you want to fly, then do these pull-ups right here. These help build the back muscles. It gives you that wide range. Believe it or not, this is actually one of my favorite pull-up routines is hitting the back pull-ups as well. Notice how I have the perfect form going all the way down, then all the way up, going all the way down, then up. Get that nice wide range. Alrighty. Just setting up here. Now, these are what I like to call matrix pull-ups, or you can call them bicycle pull-ups. Now, what this does, it helps you develop your core muscle, your lower abs, and also your hitting your top abs as well. So, basically, notice how I'm, I'm climbing the air, I'm, I'm climbing the oxygen. That's and, and I'm keeping great form. And then I'm going to hold for like five to six seconds. Then I'm going to go down. Once again, these are called matrix pull-ups. Great for abs as well. And now right here, I'm going to go into biceps. If you want a nice, if you want nice arms, nice biceps and strengthen your biceps, then I recommend these. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to reverse so notice how I was doing pull-ups earlier. I was doing it the other way. So I'm, been, I'm just basically reversing my hand. And, and as you pull up, you're going to feel the tension in your bicep muscles. 
All right, guys, so now I'm gonna demonstrate what you call pull-up holds. And pull-up holds, the benefits of these are you'll feel more tension in the muscle. So what I mean by a pull-up hold is you're gonna pull up on a bar, boom. You're gonna hold yourself for like five seconds or whatever time is comfortable for you to hold that. Then you're gonna release, all right? Then you're gonna pull up again, hold it for five more seconds. Then you're gonna release. Do it again, five more seconds. All right, so by doing this, you're gonna, just like I said, you're gonna feel more tension in the muscle. It's gonna help you to build more strength that way. And it's good for your inner core as well. And you'll get more of an inner strength ability. And you'll find yourself getting stronger as you do this. So, follow me. All right, so just setting up once again. Notice perfect form. I'm gonna go up. Now hold for five seconds. Two, one. Go back down, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Up, five, four, three, two, one. Back down, hold for five seconds. Release, up again, five more seconds. Then you're gonna go back down. back up and this is good for if you want that tension in your muscle and it, and it helps you build your strength all right we're going to get into some ab core exercises these are what i call hanging leg raises these work out the lower abdominal region and it helps you define your lower abs as well also this is a good exercise for core training core training so once again, these are hanging leg raises, good for lower abdominals. Now notice how I'm kicking to the side. The, I'm working my obliques right here. If you wanna get those X-Men obliques, I recommend these. Get those three, three stripes on your side of your abs. These are what these are good for. <laughs> All right, once again, these are working your obliques. So normally I'll do like 10 reps and three sets of these as well. So I'm jumping in to another ab exercise right here. This is another hanging leg raise exercise and these basically work out your top abs. Because notice your ab muscles contain different muscles. So you got your top and your bottom, you also got your obliques. But this specific exercise is gonna work out your top abdominal region. Once again, I'll do like three sets of these between 10 to 15 reps, pertaining how I feel. All right, this is just a freehand pull-up routine that I'm doing. Notice I'm doing a matrix bicycle kick right here. And I'm gonna hold for like five seconds. Going back down once again. Do a couple pull-ups. And notice how I'm mixing in different movements. You can do all kind of things once you go into an advanced state of your exercise routine. And you'll find yourself getting stronger. And at the end of this specific segment, I'm doing, this is like a clock pull up. Notice how I'm going around. This is working your inner strength right here. All right, the last segment of my training video right here, I'm gonna do some dips. I normally do between three to four sets of dips at the end of my calisthenic routine. And right here, I believe I'm doing like 25 reps of dips right here. You can do these kind of dips. These are basically working out your tricep muscles. That's the muscle under your bicep arms. So these are good for your triceps. You could do them on a park bench, you could do them on a chair, or you could do it this way however you want to do it. I say, yo, man, I'm sitting by the tree and flowing at poetry. These devils in the world, they can't even hold me. Protected by my God, they can't even scold me. I'm telling you it's real. When you live for Christ, he puts a hedge of protection over your body. So when it come amongst you, they can't even hit you with the shoddy. So you better learn that spiritual karate. 
and stay away from horror films and mob films like Gotti. I tell you, boy, that'll lead you the wrong way. So why don't you give your life to Jesus so you won't have to go astray? I'm trying to tell you, man, today is the day. Tomorrow's not the time because it's not even promised. I'm trying to tell you, man, I'm just from my heart. I'm being honest. <laughs> don't mind me, guys. I'm just spilling my heart away. Just having fun, you know? But I'm getting back to the segment of my video, Healthy Living, the Healthy Living documentary. And I wanna show you guys how I incorporate my push-ups now and show you different movements you can do to work certain parts of your body, certain muscles that you wanna work out, or just for overall, if you want strength and so forth. So let's get right into it. All right, so now I'm just doing regular push-ups right here. These are good for your chest. If you wanna build inner strength in your chest region. And with these, I'll do about 25 reps. And I'll do around like three to four sets with these. So once again, these are your regular chest push-ups right here. All right, getting into the next push-up routine that I do. These are what you call diamond push-ups. These not only work your inner chest region, but it also works out your tricep muscle as well. So these are what you call diamond push-ups. And remember how I was doing dips earlier. Those are good for triceps, and so are these right here. Diamond push-ups. Pushing the earth, y'all. I'm pushing the earth. Strong man. All glory to my father, who gives me strength. All right, the last segment of this training video for this documentary, I'm doing my wide routine push-ups. These are hitting your delts, your deltoid muscles, your shoulder muscles. So remember, you want to go if you want to hit your shoulders, go wide. Do do some do the wide push-ups right here, and that's what these are good for. So with all, all three of these push-up routines, I'll do about 25 reps and three to four sets as well. And there you have it. All right, guys, so we're back. Back from the park and great workout, great weather. And it's good to just get outside and especially working out in nature. Some things you can do to benefit your health, just take a simple walk outside. You can walk for like a half an hour to an hour just to relax, clear your mind, clear your thoughts out. And it gives you peace at the same time. And that's another way that you can take care of yourself as well. But I'm about to get into some food just to show you what I'm eating right after working out. I'm just making a simple salad right now. Get my greens in. So this is like a one of my post-workout meals right here. I'll add like spinach leaves. And you can do all kind of different things to your salad as well. If you guys, now I'm a big fan of avocados. I don't have none now, but normally I put avocados in my salad as well. For one, avocados have a lot of good benefits as such as they're a healthy fat. It's good for your skin as well. If you notice a lot of a lot of facial products they contain like avocados it clears your skin and so forth so a lot of companies use avocados for that reason um, also I'll throw, throw in my carrots and stuff as well these come in handy right here carrots I did research on those as well carrots are beneficial for your vision they're also good for your teeth get that nice crunch it, it clears out all the stuff off your teeth as well um, another thing I, I'll throw in I got my tomatoes already gotta have my broccoli which I love so I, I'll cut up a few broccoli crowns and so forth so yeah it was just good to get outside and just to get out in nature and listen to the sounds of nature and being one with God's nature, and it's nothing like it. So remember what I mentioned previously in this documentary of how the Garden of Eden was and how Adam and Eve had it made. 
They really did. They were one with God's nature. Just hanging out with the creatures that God put on, and, and especially in the garden and how Adam was naming all the animals. That was just a, such a beautiful thing to be able to be so connected with nature like that. And it's a blessing how God gave dominion to Adam and he, and he blessed him to have dominion over all the creatures as well. So, also I'll throw in a thing of like blueberries as well. I'll put that in like another dish and so forth. Um, at, especially after working out, you want to have, you want to throw like a healthy carb in. So in, in my case, I'm just going to throw a banana in as, and after I eat my salad and stuff so I can get that. Because you want to have, uh, your blood needs that, that extra carbs to feed your muscles, especially after working out. You want to get that, that proper nutritional value in your bloodstream. That way it can go straight to your muscles, it can go to, um, to your heart and it helps your body function properly as well. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. If you look at, you know, some bodybuilders, they, they have, they eat like six meals a day, but if you notice after their workout regimen, they'll throw in a healthy carb as such as a sweet potato. You could throw in a banana. Some people use a protein shake. They mix that up, right in the protein shake, they throw a banana in. You can throw like some almonds in, blend it in, blend it in there as well. But I'm just doing something simple today. And as I, I also mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm trying to dodge meats right now for like a week or a couple days or so just to see how my body works with that because if you notice when you eat meat it makes you all like beastly and sometimes eating meat all the time is really not good for your body sometimes it breaks you out you can see it in your in your in, in, in it you can see it in your skin and stuff like that uh, especially red meats but if you do eat meats eat like white meats like tuna fish is very good um, Salmon is one of my favorite meats that I love to eat. Um, a lot of white fish. Uh, chicken is good. Grilled chicken, I, I'm a big fan of grilled chicken as well. Uh, for the morning time, I'll, I'll scramble up some eggs, usually between five to six eggs to get my protein in. But, um, yep, this is my main meal. Good old healthy salad. Also, I have a thing of olive oil that I use. Make sure you have, I, use, I usually use like extra virgin olive oil. And I'll, I have a seasoning, like an Italian seasoning mix which contains rosemary leaves and basil and oregano. It gives the salad a nice flavor that I like. Oh. Give it a nice little flavor. And I usually just throw in my olive oil and voila, you got yourself a good old healthy salad. So that's basically what I'm experiencing in after my workout regimen today. Um, feel free to continue to check out the rest of this documentary and I'll see you in a bit. Hey! All right guys, so this is the conclusion of my documentary right here, which is titled Healthy Living. So I basically give you my regimen and my workout training session and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of the time I'll mix it up. Also what you want to do when you're working out, you don't want to do the same thing all the time. It's good to mix it up. It's good to shock your body. That way you develop well and it basically challenges your body to do different things and it helps you grow and stay healthier as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and feel free to share this video and information. It's, it's good to encourage people to eat right and healthy and to also put the foods on this earth that God intended for us to have, such as green leafy vegetables, um, broccoli, fruits, and also grains and, and stuff like that as well. So I thank you guys for watching this. I just wanted to do this to help you guys out and also to encourage you and show you as well. You guys take care. Once again, I go by the name of Rob. Take care and be strong.